Today I'm going to cook for you a very simple seasonal dish from local ingredients. All the herbs are English, all fresh herbs. The fresh herbs are particularly important because they have more of the essential oils which are present in the herbs. We've chosen lamb, English lamb. It's a fantastic thing at this time of year, coming into spring. A constructed salad, so we can use lots of greens. We're going to have some nice um, new potatoes, smashed up with a little bit of feta. And we're going to roast some artichokes as well. Finally, for a bit of spice and flavour, we're going to make a sort of pesto or salsa. So assembling that lamb dish, incredibly simple. This involves popping everything into a bowl. Our herbs, so let's take some of the rosemary, the thyme, goes into our lamb. A couple of bay leaves. Just cut through the back, releases the flavour. Pepper, salt, lemon. Don't worry about pips. Pips are full of antioxidants and antibacterial substances which are good for you. Pomegranate, molasses, again full of antioxidants. Smoked paprika to give it that kind of barbecue flavour. Olive oil, and give it a good old stir. Leave that to marinade for at least an hour. Uh, these have actually been marinating overnight. One thing I like to do is to crisp the fat on the lamb chops up a little bit. Crispy lamb fat is pretty delicious, much more digestible than otherwise. Now, just pop into a nice hot oven, about 200. That'll need about 20 minutes. So we're going to make our pesto, uh, just for, as a side flavour for the lamb. Uh, mint, obviously, is the classic herb with lamb, but we're going to make that a little bit more exotic um, by giving it some aromatic coriander as well to go with it. Just rough chop both of those a little bit. Pop in our blender. Just keep drizzling in the oil until you get a nice rough paste. Bit of salt, pepper, parmesan. And I'm using almonds instead of the normal pine nuts in this pesto. So here's our lamb. Your herbs are nice and sticky and still on the outside of the lamb. Kind of looks barbecued, but it's done in your oven. Lamb's ready, the pesto's ready, we've just got to construct the salad. Starting with the bitter foraged dandelions, watercress, and some rocket. The pea shoots, I love these, just a whole bunch of pea shoots in there. Potatoes, pop those in, a few of those. Just kind of give them a wee crunch, these are smashed potatoes. Chopping a few herbs. The stalks are fine, in fact the stalks are where much of the potassium in the green herbs are. Getting the feta in, just goes on top. And then you just basically build the dressing straight in the bowl. Some olive oil, sherry vinegar here, just to cut through the spicy lamb. Give that a little bit of a toss, just bring some of the bottom flavours upwards. Our chives, a handful of those, just chop them straight in. And a little sprinkling of sunflower seeds. So we're going to make the artichoke puree. And actually I don't skin them because a lot of the flavour and the mineral content is in, is in the skins. So here's everything finished. Let's plate it up and see what it looks like. Big plate, a little bit of salad, a couple of these nice chops, artichoke puree, some dill, and finally, mint and coriander pesto. So here we have seasonal English lamb, barbecued in the oven with spices and with um, sweet uh, pomegranate syrup, the roasted artichoke puree, smoky flavour from that, highlighted by the dill, the coriander and mint pesto, and this constructed salad of wild greens, forage from the garden, herbs, salad, potatoes and feta. Enjoy it.